Well, welcome everyone. My name is John Brenneman and I'm the president here at MOA Vacations. And we wanna thank everybody for joining us today. Uh, for those of you who have been at previous Region 7 Seas webinars, we have a new Regent partner that is going to be joining us from this point forward. That is Andrew. Andrew, say hello to everyone. Hello everyone, appreciate you joining us today. And thank you, John. Of course. Uh, as I always like to do, I'm going to start out real quick and just remind everybody that we are recording this webinar. Uh, so if Andrew or myself, most likely Andrew, says anything that you're interested and you want to revisit, uh, just to make a note, a quick note of what time it is. And then when you get the link to the video, you can fast forward to that section. So for 25 minutes in, uh, if you don't want to watch the initial 25 minutes again, then you know that's going to be about the point that that comes up. Uh, we are going to do a Q&A uh, as soon as I get done kind of talking real quick about MOA vacations. Uh, I am going to uh, start answering questions as they come in. Um, if it is a question that I think everyone on the webinar would be interested in hearing the answer to, uh, I may actually answer it live and then uh, Andrew and I will revisit it at the end. Uh, if you haven't joined us before, if you kind of put your mouse or your cursor or whatever device you were on, kind of at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a little menu pop up at the very bottom, and you'll see a little thing with a couple of like uh, conversation bubbles, I guess is what they call them, that says Q&A. Just go ahead and type your questions in right there, uh, and we will absolutely get all of your questions answered. Okay, MOA Vacations, uh, something I always mention, uh, we do have a few people that this is their first webinar. So one thing we always like to point out is we are, and we continue to be, the only travel agency in the country that offers travel on a satisfaction guaranteed basis. And what that means is if you have any problem before or during uh, your cruise, your tour, whatever vacation you book through us, uh, we are going to resolve that to your satisfaction. In 90% of the cases, uh, you are actually gonna talk directly to me and then I use my relationship with the executives at the cruise lines or the tour companies or with people such as Andrew to get this resolved as quickly as possible. Um, if you don't talk to me, uh, you'll talk to Mike Tyrell, our vice president here. And so you basically go straight to the top. We work with you directly um, rather than have you go through your uh, cruise consultant who could probably in a lot of times get it done, uh, but maybe just not as quickly or as efficiently as Mike or I could. Uh, we do guarantee the lowest price. I often uh, just say, obviously, no one's going to be satisfied if they pay too much. In fact, when we first started, we actually had these two combined into one benefit or perk, if you would. But a lot of people like to hear it say that you are guaranteed the lowest price. In addition to that, we have a MOA exclusive amenity program. These are cruise lines and tour companies that offer you an additional amenity on top of the lowest price and recognition of your past and continued service. We are great partners with Region 7 Sea Cruises and they have one of the richest uh, MOA amenity programs we offer, which is a $250 per suite shipboard credit on any Regent cruise that you book. So thank you, Andrew, and everyone at Regent for recognizing the MOA members for their past and continued service. Um, and then something we're gonna touch on a little bit today, uh, cause we have a new opportunity that we're putting together for 2025 is MOA group opportunities. Uh, these are opportunities to travel with your fellow MOA members, not only from your local area or your local chapter, if you belong to one, but MOA members from all across the country. There are a lot of members who really enjoy the added uh, camaraderie that comes with traveling with your fellow MOA members. Of course, as Andrew's going through his discussion today, a lot of what he's going to be talking about uh, is just you'd be traveling on your own. There may be some other MOA members on board, but we do put together exclusive group opportunities. And then one other thing I always like to mention um, is that anything that we offer MOA members is available to not only MOA members, but any guests that are traveling with you. So, for example, the $250 shipboard credit we mentioned, if you bring your neighbors, your family, friends, whoever it is that you want to bring along on this vacation, anything that would make your vacation more enjoyable for you, we want to offer to you. So anyone who comes with you gets that same satisfaction guarantee, they get the guaranteed lowest price. They get the um, MOA uh, exclusive amenity, and they are invited to go on MOA group departures. So in a little bit, when Andrew talks about 
uh, the group that we're putting together for March of 2025. Friends, family are invited to come with you as well. It won't be open to the general public, but once again, anything we can do to make your vacation as enjoyable as possible. Now, I know most of you didn't come to hear me talk or you've heard me talk a number of times. So without any further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to Andrew and Andrew is going to talk to us about uh, Region 7 Sea Cruises. So Andrew, take it away. Again, thank you, John. Really appreciate you. And I also appreciate you all joining us today. And uh, I definitely wanna say, uh, that I personally thank you for your service as well. As John mentioned, I'm going to take you on a journey through the region experience. Um, real quick, I am going to also shut my camera off. That way you can see the full slide. Um, give me one moment here with that. There we go. So as I mentioned, I'm going to take you through a journey on the region experience. But before we get into what our product really offers and what we're able to uh, really create in this amazing value that we have in the luxury segment, I do want to touch base. And maybe some of you have seen this in the past of our uh, newest ship, the Seven Seas Grandeur. So previously, you may have seen uh, some of the renderings that we've had uh, out in the market, uh, some of our marketing pieces, maybe online, some of our emails that you may be receiving. Uh, but I wanted to take those renderings and create them into reality. So, you know, the grandeur, it's been inspired by our past. It's stunningly reimagined for the future. We have all these really imaginative and cool public spaces that I'll kind of talk about uh, here in a moment regarding you know, how unique they are, not only for the luxury segment itself, but our fleet. Um, it's completely different than what you'll see out there, with not only uh, in, in cruising in general, but with our competition and things along those lines. So here we have uh, our observation lounge. That's actually where I was sitting before I turned my, my camera off. Uh, this is a great uh, uh, venue to have a pre-dinner cocktail, post-dinner cocktail. I do want to apologize a little bit. These are personal pictures. I was on board the christening, so I tried to take them. So they aren't marketing pieces. They are uh, from my, my personal camera. So just wanted to point that out. But this is a great area to and to really have a pre-dinner, post-dinner cocktail. Um, it has an alcove for every type of mood. If you want to go in and sit in the corner and just have conversations with your uh, travel companions, you can do that. We also have a pianist in this venue every single evening playing uh, modern dance music. So you can get out under that beautiful crystal chandelier and cut a rug. That's where I would be uh, when I'm on board the ship. Uh, next, we have our Prime 7, which is our USDA Prime Steakhouse. Uh, this is the most amazing steakhouse at sea. And it's very unique in its design. One of the things that we wanted to do here uh, is really reflect on where the steakhouse began. Uh, and so when we were doing the research on that, we found out it was going to be in, you know, it was in New York in the uh, uh, late uh, 20th century, um, or I'm sorry, the 19th century. And we also wanted to know how those individuals traveled, you know, us being in the travel industry. And it was by rail car. So we decided to make this venue uh, really focused on that early industrial age New York, also mixed with the luxury of the dining cars of that era. So you can see as you look down the venue, it's a stunning uh, replication of a dining car, of a train of that era. It's absolutely amazing. We were able to dine in this venue when we were on board for the christening. Uh, steaks from all the way from eight ounce fillets all the way up to 32 ounce porterhouses. Yes, two pounds of beef, it is for you. You can get as much as you want. We have king crab legs there, prime rib, all sorts of amazing different cuts. Hopefully you all had lunch already. Uh, next, we have our uh, main dining venue or what we like to call the largest specialty venue at sea, uh, Compass Rose. And if you've ever been on board with us, or seen any of our other vessels, we do have three Explorer class ships that are relatively the same in the build, but the um, public spaces and designs are really where they're going to change. So if you've ever seen the entrance to Compass Rose on any of those other vessels, it's open. They're not, they're, it doesn't have an art piece like this in front of the, the opening of the venue. And we wanted to ensure that we set this ship apart because we wanted uh, it to feel like you're entering a beautiful Shangri-La type of environment. So you're kind of creeping behind this waterfall. 
you're entering the venue and you move into this stunning enchanted forest that's sophisticated and imaginative. It has these tree-like pillars that sprout up into the, uh, into the canopy. You can see that off to the side there, the glass is surrounded by this amazing starry night sky. It is an absolutely stunning venue and we hope to have you on board so you can really experience it in person. It really is different, as I mentioned, not only from our fleet, but from the rest of the luxury segment and cruising. Next, we have our French venue, which is Chartreuse. Again, the classic uh, French uh, cuisine from foie gras all the way up to seared duck. Uh, you know, you can get your uh, escargot, all sorts of amazing um, uh, different entrees that are surrounded and based on that classic French cuisine. And here we have an interior picture of the venue. Uh, wonderful. Again, the uh, inspiration here is the Roaring Twenties and that same era chic of Coco Chanel. So that's where you're getting the flat blacks. You're getting the uh, uh, different types of uh, textiles throughout the chairs and the carpets. And then, of course, chartreuse is that yellowish color, yellow green uh, color that you see throughout the venue. And that's where the venue gets its name from. And then we also have Pacific Rim, uh, which is our Pan-Asian venue. Again, a stunning uh, uh, a dining space, Versace plates and, and uh, stemware, uh, absolutely luxurious. And if you're into Asian food, it's one of my favorites. This is a must-have. They have gigantic pink prawns that are tempura that is our absolutely amazing. Tom Ka soup that's just divine. Truly a... Uh, sophisticated and and uh, enjoyable environment so now that we've kind of covered grandeur let's kind of get more into the product of who we are and what we do so a little bit more about us um you know region seven seas cruises uh is really here to set um you know we do our best to set ourselves aside from the competition you know we believe that travel isn't in there's no reason to compromise when it comes to travel we're an all-inclusive medium-sized ship product which we'll kind of get into that in a moment and we really create a luxurious, special, and unique vacation for all of our guests on board. And one of those unique things that we like to do is to create unforgettable memories with you. So if you are celebrating an anniversary, a milestone, birthday, uh, whatever it may be, you know, sometimes, especially in those moments, you would like to splurge, right? So with Regent, we wanna make sure that those moments are special. We go above and beyond to create uh, those unforgettable moments with you. We wanna be a part of them with you. So please, if you're going to celebrate something coming up, those birthdays that end in zero or those anniversaries at the same, please remember to uh, reach out to us so we can celebrate with you. One of the other things that we like to do is we partner with luxurious heritage brands from all around the world. And the first that we've partnered with is the uh, is Fabergé, which some of you may know, it's kind of one of the things that we release with the grandeur, uh, having the only uh, permanently resided Fabergé egg at sea, custom made for us and for the grandeur. It is in our atrium in the on the grandeur's uh, on, on grandeur. And it's an absolutely stunning piece. So again, if you want to see it in person, you'd have to go on board and we look forward to having you there. And our newest partnership, which I am ecstatic about, um, I am a F1 fan. I love the show on Netflix. If you if anyone watches that as well, we have a once in a lifetime partnership with Armaco Formula One, which is uh, one of Aston Martin's teams. Uh, this is a newly uh, released partnership. We're going to have all sorts of different um, items that surround both Fabergé and the F1 partnership. Uh, when it comes to like spotlight sailings, we'll have uh, you know individuals on board from both of our partnerships will surround different types of onshore and uh, excursions, pre and post land packages. Uh, when it comes to the Aston Martin portion, you know, there's driving experiences that we're looking at. So this is an incredible opportunity um, to really dive into F1 if you're a fan or if you're just a fan of automotive and racing in general, there's going to be a lot of really cool things coming out of this. So keep your eyes open. Uh, moving on to more of the vessel types and what we're able to offer as a product. We are the perfectly sized ships. As you can see from, from this photo here, you know, we have some of those larger premium brands or contemporary brands. Uh, and you can see the arrow going down right there to our Seven Seas Voyager. 
That means that we aren't going to have any crowded embarkations. It's quick debarks, no crowds, no lines, just creating the ease of vacation with Region 7 Seas Cruises. And if you have ever traveled on any of these other vessels that you see lined here, you know, it could take hours to debark the ship to go do a shore excursion. It could take hours to get off at the end of your cruise. With us, you know, you're moving quickly throughout. There's no waiting. The bars and the lounges don't feel overcrowded. You can get a drink quickly if it's a mocktail or cocktail, whatever it may be. It's with ease. And this isn't even our smallest ship. The Voyager is at 698 passengers. But what really sets us apart from the other entities in the luxury space are these brand pillars, uh, which I'll kind of dive into individually here. We have immersive exploration, personalized service, luxurious space, Epicurean perfection, and every luxury included. Uh, the two that are bolded there, I just wanted to point out because we did recently change these brand pillars. We wanted to focus more on the luxurious space of the ship. It used to be luxurious suites, but we've done some really cool things with um, some of the extra space that we have on board the ship. I was actually just on board, well, uh, last June in the Baltic with my wife for our uh, milestone anniversary. And we actually had Fabergé on board as a spotlight. So they took this ordinary card room on board the ship that's, you know, nothing, um, you know, over the top by any means. And they turned it into this incredible and beautiful Fabergé gallery with art and jewelry and, of course, eggs. We have master classes uh, held in this area. We also had a uh, history of Fabergé uh, lectures that were set in this area. So it's utilizing these spaces to create uh, really unique experiences for our passengers on board. And then Epicurean Perfection, we switched this one from Exquisite Cuisine, which is really focused on our restaurants on board, but we ex expanded our Epicurean and uh, the food that we're focusing on to shoreside as well, which we'll get into here in a little bit. So first off with uh, immersive exploration, um, you know, we have an array of different options for you to really enjoy um, you, your shoreside time with us. Uh, here we, you can see that with Regents, you know, with us all being an all-inclusive product, we offer anywhere between 70 and 80%, don't hold me to that uh, exact percentage, but somewhere in there are going to be free unlimited shore excursions. And you can do as many as you'd like as the time allows in the port. Uh, we also have different options with Regent Choice and Regent Small Group Excursions, which do have a fee associated with them, but that's because there's more that goes into those tours. They could have a, uh, you know, a specialty vehicle like a helicopter tour to the Mendenhall Glacier in Alaska, or it could have this behind-the-scenes tour of the Vatican, which is exclusive to Regent Seven Seas Cruises. We do have a free tour that you get to see all the incredible uh, sites of the, of the, uh, the Vatican itself. But with the Regent Choice excursion, you pay a small fee and you get to go behind the scenes and see the operational portion of the Vatican. And as I mentioned, we're the only one in the industry doing that currently. We have our Go Local tours, which are wonderful for uh, guests who may have been to a port before and they've seen the highlights of that destination they, and they're going back there. This is going to immerse them with the locals and that culture. They're going to take you into wineries and restaurants and family homes that are not open to the public again, that is exclusive to Region 7 Seas Cruises. And you're going to learn about their operations and uh, uh, and really see these cool Epicurean uh, different types of areas with wine tastings in those vineyards and things along those lines. We also have Epicurean Explorer Tours, uh, which I actually have a video of, and I'll show you that here in a moment. Wellness Tours that are surrounded by rejuvenation and self-help. Yoga in a chateau in France overlooking the water at sunset, for example. Uh, if you're, uh, you know, into the type of self-help and release of stress and those types of different things, we have those tours for you. And then we also have executive collection and bespoke arrangements. These are going to be customized tours from the ground up for you. So if there's something in our list that you'd like to do uh, without a crowd, you just want to mirror it, we can build that from the ground up for you. Or if there's something off the beaten path that we don't offer in our short excursion list, we can create a tour around that for you as well. We also offer pre and post cruise land packages, many of them free in our exotic destinations, mid cruise overland packages that take you in uh, inland to see a highlight of the destination. You join the ship a few days later down the line, pre and post land pro or pre and uh, post hotel programs, 
which in my opinion are so important right now, not only because it gives you an opportunity to really immerse yourself in the destination that you're going to, but it also gives you the opportunity to have a little bit of a buffer when it comes to flights. You know, if you've flown lately, you can know that delays are happening or change of equipment or change of schedules, whatever may, may come up that could create a uh, issue with you getting to the ship on time. So it's always best to at least fly in the day early or multiple day early to ensure that you're able to get to the ship on time. And then again, really take in that destination. We have import overnights, which I'll talk to you here uh, uh, about in a little bit. We actually have a really cool program coming out. And then we travel to over 350 UNESCO World Heritage Sites uh, throughout the world, which is uh, spectacular. If you want to go see all of them, you're able to check those boxes with Regen. Uh, next, we have personalized service. So this is really the heart of Regent Seven Seas Cruises. Um, you know, it's, it is the crew on board that really sets us apart from other entities in the industry. It's a family-like environment. Uh, they learn your name. They know your likes and your dislikes. The best way I can explain this is anecdotally, uh, and, I'll, and I'll make it quick. It's a quick story, but I was on a Panama sailing in 2014, uh, just like any vacationist. You know, you find that cocktail or mocktail that you really enjoy and you 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 have it throughout your vacation. Over time, they just continued to bring it to me. My glass was never empty. Uh, I always like to tell my wife I only had one uh, because I never actually finished them. Uh, but a few years later, we were in Alaska and um, some of the crew from my Panama sailing was on board. I may have been on the ship for about 20 minutes. I'm standing on the pool deck and I get this tap on my shoulder and I turn around and it's one of the crew from my Panama sailing. And he says, welcome back, Mr. Bruning. And he hands me the cocktail that I was having five years earlier. He remembered exactly what it was. Uh, and that is a jaw-dropping moment for me. It's something I share quite often in these types of presentations and with a lot of my uh, uh, partners that I work with. Uh, and, but that's just because it's something, you know, it's an awe moment for me, but that's something that that individual and the rest of our crew do for our guests on a regular basis. So it's absolutely amazing. It's always above and beyond. They always anticipate your needs. And so uh, they are what really makes this wheel of luxury turn. Next, we have uh, Epicurean Perfection. So we source the finest ingredients from all around the world to ensure that we are providing you with incredible uh, um, appetizers and entrees and desserts and baked goods. So you're getting the best absolute cuisine that we offer or that is offered or in the luxury entities. Uh, you know, all of our dining is complimentary. We have specialty venues that do require restaurant reservations, uh, but it, there's no additional cost like you'll find in some of our competition and some of the uh, uh, contemporary and premium brands. Uh, I would like to kind of show you a video here of one of those Epicurean Explorer tours. Some of you may have seen it in the past, but it is such a highlight of our vacation. You know, one of the cool things that you'll see in the video is they talk about going back uh, you know, after you do the tour, you learn all this culinary knowledge, you get to go back on board the ship and really enjoy uh, an experience in our culinary arts kitchen where you take that culinary knowledge and you apply it firsthand. And it is something that is so unique. My wife and I did it in our anniversary in June. And it's the, you know, two hours that we talk about most of our vacation, just because the chef was so funny and outgoing and, and personable. And he made the class, um, you know, really exciting and we learned so many cool different culinary uh you know tips and tricks that we use in the kitchen today i personally consider myself a uh, self-proclaimed chef uh, i am the cook in my house so this was really up my alley if you're a foodie like me it is something that i highly recommend so real quick here's a short video my name's Catherine kelly and i am the founder and the manager of our culinary arts program so the way the Epicurean Explorer Tours work is the guests assemble in the culinary arts kitchen in the morning with the chef instructor who explains what we're gonna do today, where we're gonna go and the sequence of the day. We venture off the ship. Sometimes we go to a market, sometimes we go to a farm, sometimes we go to meet a, a local host uh, who may be an artisanal producer. So for example, when we go to the spice farm in Belize, we're met by our hosts, the owners. We get on a tractor and a trolley and we ride through the spice farm where they pick off 
various spices, flowers, and ingredients and share those with the guests as we are wandering our way through the spice farm. Our hosts are such an important part of our tour. They love greeting our guests, sharing their farms, their, their local cultures, their family traditions, their favorite recipes. After our visit with our local hosts, we'll come back to the ship. Sometimes we have a cooking class where, for example, for Belize, we experimented with all kinds of different spices and things that we harvested there at the farm. Our guests always enjoy this intimate, chef-led experience. They make friends amongst themselves in this small group. They love hanging out with the chef uh, and learning new things. So come taste the world with us. Again, these are incredible uh, tours that are, are surrounded by, you know, the, the love for food, the love for cuisine. So if that's up your alley, please make sure that you sign up for those once you get on board with us. Uh, it, you will not uh, regret your decision. So next we have luxurious space. Um, I kind of talked about the luxurious space throughout, um, you know, some of the, the previous slides. I do have another short video here for you, but you know what we what we really like to focus on with our luxurious space is the size of our suites. So we have suites that run from 301 square feet all the way up to over 4,400 square feet. You know, uh, we do not have any inside suites. Uh, we have, you know, these suites are are, are well appointed, home away from homes. You know, in my personal opinion, they're destinations within themselves. So, you know, you're getting uh, L'Occitane and Bottega bathroom amenities. You're getting the linens that the Vatican and the European Royals use. The king size beds are absolutely heavenly. They are slumber, are, are uh, uh, elite slumber beds that are absolutely stunning. I actually love these beds so much that I purchased one. I sleep on one of them every single evening, uh, except for when I my feet hit the floor in the morning, I have to make my own breakfast and clean up my own mess. Uh, so it's a little different than being on a Regent ship. But again, the luxurious amenities, the size of our suites, we have a suite for every individual. And then of course, as I mentioned, the luxurious space throughout the vessel, you know, no waiting, no lines. Uh, you know, you don't have to, uh, you know, hurry in an hour and a half early to our theater to ensure you get a seat. There's a spot for everyone. Uh, so it's absolutely amazing for, for the vacation that you're looking for. Just real quick here, uh, we have another short video of our luxury space. All right, and last uh, but definitely not least of our brand pillars, we have all of our inclusion. So, uh, you know, you can create a um, inclusive experience with a premium brand uh, by purchasing packages and things along those lines, but those are, you know, they have limitations. And, you know, we're beyond all inclusive. We're all inclusive without limitations. You know, some of those package may uh, with the premium brands may have drink caps, uh, may have only one or two of their specialty venues that are included, then you have to purchase the rest of them. But with us, it is all included, all from your flights, which are going to be business class intercontinentally and uh, economy domestically, including the transfers that are in association with our uh, with our flights, specialty dining, as I mentioned, all of our premium drinks, you know, um, we use what we consider top shelf wells, right? So uh, our bottles of vodka just don't say vodka on them. Even though they still say vodka, they also say Grey Goose 
and Kettle One, Maker's Mark if you're a bourbon and whiskey drinker. So we have those top shelves that are included. We have those unlimited shore excursions that I mentioned. Internet is complimentary on board, which we have, we're in the process of upgrading to Starlink. So you'll have um, internet speeds that are very similar to what you're used to on your mobile devices. Uh, we have our pre-cruise hotel and our concierge suites and above, which again, if you, uh, you know, going back to my previous comment about getting that buffer, having the ability to come in a day early to see that destination, then also uh, if anything were to happen, uh, you have the opportunity to still make the ship. Gratuity. So we're a cashless society on board the ship. As I mentioned, it's all included. Once you purchase our fare, there's no other purchases on board uh, that you, um, unless you choose to purchase a spa treatment or provide us an incredible donation to our casino. Uh, we also offer valet laundry. So this, when it came out, it, it was a, 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 pan, a post pandemic inclusion uh, that became a standard inclusion of ours. And I thought it was really cool when we started doing, but until you really experience the valet laundry service, it's absolutely, uh, it's one of the best or the best inclusion that we offer in my opinion. You know, once you get on board, the whole point of really going on a vacation is to relieve yourself from responsibility. And that's ironing and washing and doing those different types of things with your clothes. You know, you don't want to be sitting on the pool deck, having a cocktail or mocktail, letting that sun kiss your skin and then have to go, oh no, I have to go back to my suite to iron my own shirt. It's, you know, you get into your suite, you unpack your luggage and you can just put as much as you can in that laundry bag and send it off. And within a day it comes back, it's smelling good. It's crisply uh, ironed and ready for you for to wear in the evening. So my personal opinion, one of the best inclusions that we offer. Uh, kind of going back to the dining options, even though I didn't mention a lot of these when it came to uh, the grandeur, um, you know, I, I pointed a few out, but we do have um, uh, up to seven different uh, dining options throughout our ships. Oh, too far. So sorry. Come on now. There we go. Maybe it wants to jump ahead. So sorry for that. Uh, so we have seven dining options. We'll just kind of let this roll through maybe if it wants to go. Let me pause this. Let's see. So sorry about that. Well, anyways, back to the seven. We have Setamari, which is our prime, uh, which is our uh, Italian venue. Uh, and it also is La Veranda for breakfast and lunch. We do buffet style in that venue until it turns into Setamari in the evening, where you can get incredible Italian cuisine, uh, Southern uh, uh, Italian food with all the seafood. We also have an amazing bone-in veal chop. That is one of my favorites. It's lightly breaded and fried. It has mozzarella on top of it. It's covered in sauce. It's absolutely divine. We also have uh, chartreuse that I mentioned, Prime 7, the USDA Prime Steakhouse. We have um, uh, the Compass Rose that I mentioned. Let's see. And we also have Pacific Rim, which is the uh, Pan-Asian restaurant. So again, uh, kind of moving forward from that, let us entertain you. We have an incredible array of different entertainment on board the ship from Broadway-esque shows to musicians, uh, musicians, magicians, all different types of, of individuals come on board. We have lecturers on board that create um, really great entertainment during the day that bring on a lot of knowledge from the destination that we're going to, historians, uh, Smithsonian uh, uh, professors, all different types of individuals. We also have a region signature orchestra that is uh, delivering crowd-pleasing themed dance parties throughout the ship. So there's tons of different options. But one that I wanted to point out is a special one that we started last year with, if, if I have any Seinfeld fans, uh, with John O'Hurley from Seinfeld, who played Elaine's boss, Peterman. Uh, I had the, uh, the opportunity to meet him on board a few times, and him and his wife, Lisa, are absolutely incredible. Uh, it's one of the greatest shows that I've seen. I've never seen the theater so packed uh, with, jo uh, 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 with you know, John O'Hurley's show. That is one that I have seen where it was standing only, which was very interesting, but he tells a lot about his life, and I'll actually kind of let him explain that a little bit more for you. John O'Hurley.
Hi there, John O'Hurley here with a big surprise for you if you are a region traveler. You're going to be coming from August 2024, and I'll be bringing my show, A Man with Standards, as well as one of the most popular chefs in all of America, Tommaso Barlet. He's going to show you some of the great gastronomical experiences, while I will be regaling you on stage with my show, a story of the songs and the music of the 1950s and 60s, surrounded by the stories of my life, yes, and some of the strange things I have done, which includes singing Sinatra to Sinatra. You won't want to miss it. It's wonderful entertainment, and it's fantastic food. That's it for us, ladies and gentlemen. A big hand, please, for the Dirigent Signature Orchestra. And I really hope you guys have the opportunity to uh, experience uh, John O'Hurley and, uh, and uh, Chef on board on that August date. So uh, if you're interested in seeing the show, uh, that date is available for booking now. Uh, next, we have Sweet Dream. So I kind of did talk about this already when it came to uh, luxurious space. But again, uh, re revisiting with our suite sizes from 301 square feet all the way up to uh, over 4,400, you know, luxury means a good night's sleep and a fresh perspective every morning. You know, let us introduce you to the littlest and differences related to our accommodation. So one of the really cool things that we offered, especially on our Explorer class vessels, is in our superior and concierge suites, we actually rotated the bed. So it's not facing the forward portion or the, the aft portion of the ship. It's actually facing off the balcony. So you have this incredible ocean view every morning. Uh, you know, you wake up relaxed. The sun's kind of creeping in through the, the curtains. You know, you, you just slept on that, as I mentioned, that elite slumber bed. That's absolutely stunning. The pillows are great. You know, it's it's absolutely one of, uh, you know, our, our highest and, and sought after uh, experiences is just your suite alone. Uh, so we hope to see you on board soon for that as well. Uh, here we have our uh, comparison guide. So this is going to give you an opportunity to really see the value of Region 7 Seas Cruises. You know, first off, we have that top line. As you can see, Region is at $14,299, but it's all included as you go down the line. Here, a, a premium brand, you know, those premium brands that we would be talking about would be like Princess or Celebrity along those lines. It does start off that upfront value for those premium brands are an incredible offer, $54.79. But once you start adding in the items that we include, you start tacking on a lot, uh, especially when... You know, you're you're trying to relieve yourself of the responsibility, and one of those responsibilities is your financial responsibility. So with Regent, that upfront fare covers it all. Once with the premium brands, you know, you might be calculating how many cocktails you had or how many you know sodas if you, you bring your kids on board. You know, it, with us, it's all included. So here, these are actually very um, conservative costs when it comes to the premium. You can see under the alternative dining portion, it says ninety dollars. That might be for one seating without cocktails, right? You add a couple bottles of wine or a couple cocktails in there, and that's going to skyrocket. And then if you do that multiple times throughout your sailing, you know, that's going to be a very hefty cost as well. So even in this particular situation, we end up being more expensive, but there's reasons. It's value over price, right? So we're sailing with hundreds of guests on Regent versus thousands on a premium product with us it's hassle free it's worry free there's no nickel and diming on board the ship you know you know it's kind of a marketing ploy as you know the premium brands appears to be half the price as us but once you add all those additional items you know you end up actually paying more to get off the ship than you did get on on the premium brand Another uh, comparison that I want to point out is our hotel comparison. So again, this is uh, not per person. The last slide was per person. This is going to be for two. We are looking for those individuals who like to do FIT hotel stays. Uh, and that's because, you know, one of the things that we're hearing in the market is, you know, hotels are expensive uh, and they're not all inclusive. You know, you have to pay for all your dining. You have to go off site to get a, a good value for dinner uh, or breakfast, lunch and dinner uh, with us. We're going. We're looking after those uh, FIT guests because we're creating this incredible opportunity for what we call immersive overnights, um, which I'll get to in a moment. But as you can see, us compared to a hotel brand, 
uh, which is you know going to be very similar to uh, number of nights, uh, different destinations in Europe, as you can see. Again, the upfront cost is going to be you know much less for the hotel, but once you add in that business class air, which we include over the water, uh, all of those inclusions like transfers and shore excursions, all those different types of things, uh, the total fare for the hotel stay is going to be uh, much more expensive than we are. And as I mentioned, with the adverse of overnights, as we're looking for those hotel guests, we are creating this incredible opportunity where we're taking multiple sailings, six of them actually, in 2024 and in 2025, where we uh, are going to continue to do anywhere between seven and 16 nights, uh, but we're going to minimize the uh, ports in the sense of, you know, it's not going to be a new port every single day or a port heavy itinerary like the Mediterranean usually is. We're going to provide the opportunity to stay overnight anywhere from one night to two and a half days in these different destinations. So that's going to give those of you who like to travel to the hotel or and do different types of cities uh, that are going to be shoreside, the opportunity to not only have that hotel-esque stay, but you're getting the all-inclusive, unrivaled experience that region offers with dining on board the ships, shore excursions included. You know, we're kind of going to park the ship there in the sense of it being the hotel. You can go and do incredible nightlight opportunities. All these, uh, these itineraries that I'll show you here shortly are going to have special, unique evening shore excursions that go to ballets or different types of um, uh, uh, entertainment when it comes to music. Uh, they're going to do walking tours and dinner tours. One of them goes to a Michelin star restaurant, so you can have a dinner there. I mean, that's absolutely amazing. And that first itinerary that we want to bring up is the Venice to Athens sailing October 5th of 24. As you can see, we have one night in Venice, one night in Croatia, Montenegro, and two nights in Greece. Um, a great opportunity here for 10 nights to really get to explore those destinations and dive into the culture and immerse yourself with the locals. Next, we have... Istanbul to Barcelona on October 27th of this year. Again, one night in Istanbul, Dubrovnik, Rome, and Barcelona. In between those, there will be sea days as well. So you get the really great value of being on the ship, really taking in uh, what we offer in sense of the ship being a resort uh, and all of those really cool things that our crew is going to do for you while you're on your sea days. Next, we have the Rome to Barcelona sailing. Again, one night Rome in Tuscany and uh, Toulon and then also Barcelona. We have this great round trip Tokyo in March of 2025 where you get one night in Kyoto, one night in Seoul, Shanghai, and Tokyo. And John and I are actually working on doing a hosted group with MOA, uh, which we're going to add incredible value with additional amenities uh, that are going to really create an incredible sailing. This is a 14-night sailing, and you're going to be able to really dive in uh, to Japan and the Asia market. So if this is something that you're interested in, reach out to your MOA advisor um, and um, you know figure out a little bit more of what we're going to be able to offer. It's not set in stone yet. We're still working on it, but he, uh, John will be able to advise you what that value will be here shortly. Uh, next, we have April 20th of 25, where we have one night in Monte Carlo, two in Salerno, one in Ephesus, and one in Athens. A really great sailing here. If you really, I mean, Ephesus is a must see destination, and you'll be able to t really dive in there and not just have to spend a day and go back on board and leave that uh, that port. You'll be able to have more opportunity to really see Ephesus and then, of course, the other ports there. And, um, Last but not least, we also have Copenhagen to Stockholm on June 27th of 25, one night in Copenhagen, two nights in Berlin, one in Helsinki, and two nights in Stockholm. This is very similar to the itinerary I did in June, uh, and it was top-notch, top-tier, one of the best vacations I've ever been on. And I know it's super cliche with me saying it uh, as I work for the company, but... Uh, it really was. I mean, the food was spectacular. The destination was perfect. I mean, we had 75 degree weather uh, and then we went in June as well uh, during the day. So not only were we seeing these ancient castles and and, uh, uh, you know, medieval time uh, villages, we were also getting to go back on board and have a daiquiri and let the sun kiss our skin. I, I, I may be one of the only people who've gotten a tan in the Baltic. Uh, so it's a really great opportunity. So really, if you are an FIT hotel guest that like to travel to those, 
uh, I highly recommend reviewing these sailings and calling John to see if uh, something, one of them piques your interest. So where would you like to go? I mean, we travel all over the world from all sorts of different destinations. If you want to go there, uh, we, we will take you there with the exception of um, uh, Antarctica in the sense of the like exploring um, type of vessels. Uh, but we'd go over to 500 worldwide destinations, again, 350 UNESCO World Heritage Sites. So we also have an exclusive group. So join already booked MOA members. Uh, we have a departure that's coming out on August 12th of 2024. Uh, it is our spotlight on history sailing. It is an eight night sailing London to London, where we are going to have uh, General Chrisman uh, join us, who is our main speaker. Uh, you'll also have a, a bunch of other veterans and historians and key expert, experts that are going to really focus on the uh, history of the world wars, the destinations in which they happen to. Here's the particular itinerary, which we have up to 24 uh, free shore excursions available in regards to those destinations. Next, we have more with MOA. So MOA has more offers. As John mentioned at the beginning of the call, you can get up to a 50% saving on uh, select departures in 24 and uh, 25. We have the $250 shipboard credit uh, that he mentioned as well on all departures. Uh, for our single guests, if we have any single guests out there, we have 20 sailings right now that go to Asia, Africa, Alaska, Mediterranean, and Northern Europe that offers 0% single supplement. So if you were avoiding us before because our single supplements were high, this is a great opportunity for you to get on board with solo benefits, cocktail parties, all different types of events that we offer for our solo travelers at a 0% supplement. We also have our upgrade and uh, or upgrade your horizon, which is our two category upgrade and reduced deposits. This does end on February 29th. So if you are interested uh, in any sailing that offers this uh, this promotion, the time to book is now. I'm sorry, I'm flying through these, but we only have a little bit of time left. And we are also offering a discount for joining us today. Uh, on the or or watching the uh, presentation um, between today and uh, March 1st, you can earn up to $2,000 off of your future vacation with us, which is combinable with all the promotions that I've mentioned. It is just based on the length of sailing and the uh, uh, suite purchased. And that is all I have for you today. We're here to help. If you need anything, reach out to John. If John needs anything, he'll reach out to me and we'll get all of your needs and everything taken care of. We thank you. Thank you so much. Andrew, thank you. What 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 a plethora of information that you shared. Uh, yeah, it's uh, with the number of different uh, specials we have. One, one of the things we always kind of run into with Regent is, you know, the confusion that, that some members might have on, on what's the best deal. And, uh, you know, that's, that's why we end with this screen. There's our 800 number. There's our email address. Uh, if you tell us where you want to go and approximately when you want to go, uh, allow the expert, allow our cruise consultants to go through and, and help you find the best deal uh, because a lot of these are combinable. I mean, we'll just, we'll just back up a little bit and talk about that $250 uh, per suite amenity and, and reminder, all the all the staterooms on all the region ships are all suites. So this offer, if, if you are at the lowest category suite on the ship, you get a $250 per state per suite, excuse me, uh, onboard credit all the way up uh, to, to the highest suites. Um, it is combinable with everything. We had a couple of questions on this, and, and always I, I always probably want to be clear to a fault. The, the only time that, that that 250 isn't kind of as obvious or added on is when we do these MOA groups. And I'm glad Andrew brought up the spotlight on world wars that we have this summer, because on when we put these groups together, and Andrew mentioned that we're currently, you know, trying to negotiate a deal uh, with Regent to get the best possible deal for you, that spotlight on world wars has a $400 per suite uh, onboard credit, so which is combinable with any other promotions that they have going. He just talked about, quote unquote, a show special or a webinar special. If you book uh, in the next two weeks onto that, you know, spotlight on World Wars, you can book 
the current promotional price. You can add in the show special, but even with the promotion and the show, show special, you still get the onboard credit. But on that sailing, it's not 250, it's 400. So when we do the, um, the round trip Tokyo trip in March of next year, it will have a, a shipboard credit as well or an onboard credit. Those terms are mutually exclusive um, on that as well. I, I, I'm, I can almost guarantee it's gonna be more than 250. So a couple of people asked that. I just wanna be clear on that. That is a MOA exclusive amenity. So what we should really say is at least 250. So if we're offering 400, it's not 400 plus 200. What we really have is our normal 250 plus an additional 150 on the group. It's just easier to explain sometimes just to combine those together. Um, one of the questions we had, and I don't know, Andrew, if you want to add any more to this, uh, and I'm not an error expert. And one of the things Andrew said, which, which I'm, I'm going to clarify, is do not call me to book your cruiser if you have any questions. Um, my role at MOA Vacation has me so busy doing so many other things. I am not as up to date as our cruise consultants that do nothing all day, all week long, uh, but, but work with Regent and other vendors on doing this. Um, so you're much better to call the 800 number or email and actually get a full-time agent uh, rather than talking to me. You only talk to me if you have a problem and then I go to Andrew or we go over Andrew's head and we get it resolved as quickly as possible. Um, but we had a question uh, about air and the question was, what's the difference between or uh, is business class the same as first? Um, and I'm old enough to know there was a time when there was always like, you know, a, it was coach, business, and first, and there was basically three different um, types of, 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 of seating or, 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 yeah, seating on an airplane. Uh, that's kind of blurred a lot now. Now you have, you know, economy plus or premium or whatever you want to call that. And a lot of airlines now only have first or business. Uh, some airlines have both. I think that's getting rarer and rarer. Andrew, anything on that? I think the question comes from the fact that we talk about complimentary business class airfare with on international flights. Yeah, I mean, just like you mentioned, John, uh, some carriers do have a first class and a business class. Some of them just have business class. A lot of the times they, you know, domestically, they don't have a business class. It'll only be first class. So really when we uh, do our airfare, you know, we do our best to try, it all depends on the contracts. So what we guarantee with our business class flights is the intercontinental portion. So if you're flying from Kansas City uh, and you're connecting through um, New York, for example, uh, that portion may be economy, but if our contracts allow, we'll upgrade you into first class for that portion. The portion over the water from New York going into Europe or going into Asia, whatever it may be, um, that portion is guaranteed business, and those are going to be the lay flat pods. Like it, it all depends on the type of or the uh, carrier themselves. They all kind of have different types of uh, features and layback, and if they're you know big kind of rooms and different stuff. Like for example, when I flew over to Europe, I was in Delta One, their new business class. Absolutely amazing, big, large space. Uh, we had my, my own pod. I had a window that I could close my wife off to if I wanted to watch a movie and not hear anything, you know. <laughs> so, uh, or uh, when I came back, I flew Lufthansa, and Lufthansa had, um, you know, they're they're big seats, but they're still right next to each other. They do lay flat. You do get a big screen. Uh, so it's just all dependent on the equipment, but it is going to be a luxurious experience and, and starting off and ending your vacation in luxury with, uh, you know, the ability to take a nap or sleep for your flight or whatever it may be, it will be a, a, a lay flat. Yeah. And we know that, uh, you know, a, a percentage of the MOA members are former uh, Air Force or possibly Navy aviators or something like that. Um, there is always the opportunity to remove that airfare from your region booking and do air on your own. There is an air credit when you do that. Uh, and it is substantial. It's not, you know, 600, 800, you know, it's it's in the thousands. I think the last one I saw the air credit for removing the inner, and this was on a European uh, cruise, uh, it was $6,700 per person. So if there's a specific airline you want to fly or there's, you know, I want these seats kind of thing, uh, absolutely. Talk to your consultant and say, listen, I want to fly Air France or, you know, I want to fly Delta One. That sounded amazing. You know, and to make sure I get Delta One, give me that $6,700 per person air credit and I'll book my own flights. And once again, we're not going to know what that air credit is until we specifically know what 
cruise you're looking at. I just was using that as an example so you know that, that it is a significant enough air credit to cover the cost of you getting business class or first class air on your own. One other question we had, and I saw another one just come in real quick, and it's not an issue if we run a few minutes late, Andrew, sometimes we do, uh, was talking about with everything that's included, what do I use my onboard credit on? And, and I answered quickly because it was kind of at the end uh, of your presentation, but I gave three examples. First of, course, first of which is the spas. The spas are amazing. Spa treatments are not included. You want a massage, facial. Um, they have a salon, haircut, you know, whatever that might be, that's not included. Uh, they have amazing shops on board. Um, you can spend thousands and thousands of dollars on watches, jewelry, clothing, those types of things. Um, and then, of course, as Andrew mentioned, um, there are complimentary shore excursions in every port of call, but there are others because they can't include everything. So if you want that kind of step up, for example, uh, last year uh, I took my family to Alaska and we wanted to do the, the four-wheel drive vehicles you know, through the kind of, I guess, the mountains and the rugged hillside. And that was a slight additional fee, not what you'd pay to do it on your own, but I think it was $49, $69 per person, something minimal, um, which we were happy to pay because it was an unbelievable experience. So I'm sure I'm missing. Any other examples you'd throw out there, Andrew? Maybe probably bottled wine is, is something. Yeah, so if there's anything that's not included in our uh, included beverage packages, then you could use your shipboard credit for that. Uh, but really, John, you you hit the nail on the head. Those are really the items that are mostly the uh, the items that the, the guests use their shipboard credit for. Yeah, the, the, the simple matter of it is, is you could easily go on a region cruise and not spend anything because, you know, all your food, all your drinks, all your excursions, you know, all your tipping, you know, I, I mean, we could just go there. I mean, your, your laundry, everything else is, is all included. So yeah, it's great to have that account and, and look for something to, to spend your money on. And, you know, don't, don't leave it. So before you leave, even if you're getting, you know, logo jackets or something like that. So, um, okay. So we have a couple more questions. I'm going to go back. Oh, and you, you talked about singles already. That's important because we have a lot of people that have, somebody asked about a list of sailings. And so I did want to bring up real quick on those dates that we have the Mo exclusive departures is what we call them, where we have the discount. If there's a, like 65 of them, if I remember correctly, maybe 67, something in that range where the discount is 25 to 50%. Uh, when we sent you the invitation, there was actually a link to a list that showed all of those departures. They are sorted by destination and then by departure date. Um, so we that list will be included uh, once again. Um, we are going to send a copy of this presentation to everybody. You'll say, you will actually take it, download it, edit it, and then upload it to YouTube. So we'll send you a link to that YouTube page. Uh, when we send that to you, we'll also include a link uh, to that list of those MOA exclusive departures. So when you get the email with this presentation, you can click on it and, and see, see those as well. Um, okay. Oh, let me see to make sure there was nothing else in there. Okay. While you're looking, John, I just do also want to touch on singles a little bit further. Yeah, of course. Um, so even though we have those 20 dates that offer this, the 0% single supplement, we have an array of other options as well that offer 10, 25 and 50% single supplements. So if a destination that you would like to go to isn't on that particular or a date doesn't work on those, those, those 0% single supplement dates, there are other options out there that, have a small incremental add-on, uh, but may work better in the destination or in your time frames. Exactly. And once again, and you know, I, I I'm not trying to pass the buck or anything, but yeah, if you're a single, your best bet is to call or email and say, I'm a single, I'm looking to go on such, you know, I, it, it, the more information you give us, or, or kind of, I guess the, the more um, options you give us, the more opportunity it gives that consultant to go out and find you an awesome deal. So let's say you decide you want to go to Alaska and you want to go this summer. If you come to us and say, I want to go to Alaska this summer in June or July, that allows that consultant to go in and look and look at those dates that are 25 to 50% off. Look at the, the dates that have the single supplement, you know, in the next two weeks, you get that, you know, the show special, you'll always get that $250 onboard credit. Um, uh, chip or credit uh, for suite. So allow them to kind of come back to you and say, listen, we, we, we want to combine as many of these offers as possible to get you the very best deal. Okay. Just got a question in 
asking about that MOA exclusive amenity. Unfortunately, um, if you booked through another travel agency or you book direct with Regions, you will not get that $250 ship of credit. You actually have to book that cruise through MOA and that's how they track it. Um, so when, when anyone books through us, we provide that information to Andrew and, and the folks at, uh, at Regent, and then they add that onboard credit. So since you booked not through us, we have no way of adding that. Um, so I don't know. Let me see when they booked. They put it in there. Uh, March 30th of 2024. Yeah. Um, we have had people that if, if you book direct with Regent and it's been in like the last 30 days or so, Regent will actually move that booking to MOA Vacations. Um, but unless you book that March cruise in the last 30 days, th they will not allow you to move it to us. So unfortunately, we can't add that onboard credit. But if you're on board and you book another sailing or when you get off that and you want to go again, absolutely call us, drop us an email. And if you book it through us, we'll absolutely get that 250 added. Or if you go uh, spotlight on World Wars this summer or you do Japan next year, um that'll be more than 250. uh one last question oh thank you for the information okay perfect the person was saying they saw the link in the email they saw inviting them it's exactly three o'clock how is this possible andrew <laughs> We're anyway, on time, John. <laughs> <laughs> i want to thank everybody for joining us today it's great to have andrew as part of the region family and our, our new re region go-to person so you'll be seeing him uh, probably every quarter. We continue to do region on a quarterly basis. It is the most popular cruise line for MOA members. Uh, if you've never sailed on before, you you deserve it. That you you owe it to yourself to to compare. Um, you know we have those comparisons on our website where you can compare a Holland, a a, a princess, a, a celebrity. Those premium lines to Regent, which initially looks much more expensive, but when you look everything included and you say, okay, so I book a suite on Princess and then I add the business class air and I add excursion, and I add gratuities and I add specialty dining and I add all of these other things, it almost ends up being the same price. So you're getting luxury for, for virtually nothing more than you're currently paying for premium. So thanks everyone. Uh, probably tonight you'll receive an email, if not tonight, tomorrow morning, you'll get an email with the link to this webinar. Feel free to share it with friends and family. They're invited to come along with you. They'll get all the MOA amenities. And Andrew, I'm gonna turn it over to you for the final word. Well, I just wanna thank you all for joining us as well. Um, I'm really excited to be working with all of you, working with uh, MOA Vacations. And um, you know, I just appreciate your time. So we look forward to having you on board in the near future and really look at those immersive dates and the groups that we have coming out. Excellent, yes, stay tuned for more information on uh, Round Trip Tokyo, March, 2025. Bye everyone, have a great weekend.